I just wanted to give thanks. The Lord provided a way and strengthened me enough for me and my family to, to attend today. And I thought it was fitting to publicly give thanks to the Lord for his goodness to me and to his people. I want to thank you, brethren, also for your prayers for me, for my family. Medically speaking, we have some answers for some of the things that I've been experiencing, some of the things we have no answers for, and the Lord knows. And so we just trust him in that. Um, not been easy, I admit that, but it has been necessary. And the Lord is always faithful to be there for his children, even when he is silent. I've always loved the song, God leads his dear children along. And he has brought us through water, through floods, through fire, through the blood. And uh, I think the key word is through. <laughs> um, yep. So, yeah, everyone has a valley to walk through. But when you get to the other side, Jesus will be there on the shore. He was there the whole time, through all the trials, through the toiling. He's nourished us. He feeds us. And he's has ready provisions for us that have been prepared before the foundations of the earth because he has chosen us. I know many of you have had ongoing trials. Continue to let him work his perfect work in you and don't give up. People may have good intentions and offer advice and some people don't understand, you know, some of the things I don't even, don't even understand really what you know what is going on. But but that's okay. And um, for me, it's just been a time of sweet communion with the Lord, going through all of this. And I want to leave you with, to remember that your light affliction and momentary affliction is working for you a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. I just really felt that I needed to come up here and give thanks. So.